Thank you for visiting Utique Bridal. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create the First Communion Mantilla Veil. Using this tutorial, you can also create the Fingertip Link Veil, which works really well with an updo hairstyle. So let's get started. Here are the ordinaries you will need in order to complete this project. If you need more time, feel free to press pause and review the list. First, we're going to take the length measurement by starting at the point where the comb would lay and then bringing it down to the length that you would like. For example here, I measured 26 inches, then I would subtract the lace width, which is 2 inches, and that will give me 24 inches in total length for the tool. So here you'll see 24 inches in tool length. I'm going to fold the tool in half and that will give me a layout of 12 inches. Next, I'm going to use the right corner as the pivot point, and I'm just going to mark and pivot at the 12 inch mark. Now cut along the markings, unfold, and you should now have a circle. Next, we're going to measure the circumference of the circle so that we can get the length of the lace needed. So the formula we will use is the circumference equals pi times diameter. The value of pi is a fixed value of 3.14. And the diameter of the veil is actually the length of the veil we measured earlier, which is 24 inches. Now I will use a calculator to figure out the circumference. I will take 3.14 times 24 inches, which equals to 75.36 inches. This will be the length of lace I will need. However, I'm going to add 3 to 5 inches in length to give us room to work with. Next, lay the lace on top of the tool, lining up the high point of the bottom portion of the lace to the edge of the tool. To stabilize the lace, you will now start pinning the lace to the tool as you go along. Since the tool is circular, you will notice that there will be gaps forming as you lay the lace on top of the tool. Just fold it over and make sure the top portion of the lace lines up. Now cut along the flower pattern at the fold and just make sure you cut enough where it will fold over neatly. Pin and repeat this process going all the way around the tool. Once you get to the end, line up the pattern and then cut and trim to make it look seamless. I want to make sure that the lace is secure, so I'm going to place pins all the way around the veil in between where the pins are already placed. Next, cut about 12 inches of invisible thread and then just place it through your needle and not one end. I recommend 12 inches because it tends to tangle if it's too long. Now start with a secure stitch at any point on the veil. I will be switching the thread color so you can visually see the stitching. Here I am using the blanket stitch. All you have to do is stitch the edge of the lace trim to the tool and pull it through. Just make sure when you bring the needle up it is in front of the thread and pull it through. Stitch then make sure the needle is in front of the thread and pull it through. Just make sure the stitch width is about a quarter of an inch and you're not pulling at the thread too tightly. Repeat the blanket stitch all the way around the veil. When you get to the cut flower, start with a secure stitch. Now start your backwards blanket stitch and just make sure the needle is in front of the thread. And then repeat. Just for this portion, make sure not to sew the lace onto the tool. Once you get to the end of this portion, just do a simple straight stitch back to the top and then just go forward with your blanket stitch. Repeat this process around the whole veil until the lace trim is sewn onto the tool. Finally, flip the veil over and then you're just going to trim off a quarter of an inch of tool and go all the way around. 
Next, take the hair comb and place it under the peak of the lace trim. And then stitch the hair comb onto the lace trim. You are now complete with the mantilla veil. Now place it on the head and if needed, you can further secure it with bobby pins. If you have a pretty updo hairstyle, you can use the fingertip length veil. All you have to do is place the hair comb under the peak of the lace trim and make sure the teeth is facing up and then just do a secure stitch. And you are complete with the fingertip length veil. Thank you for watching and I hope you get inspired to create something extraordinary out of the ordinary. I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate my goddaughter Cameron and all those receiving their first Holy Communion. Congratulations! If you would like to learn how to prepare a hair comb, please click on the top video clip. If you would like to learn how to create this super easy beaded First Communion headband, please click on the bottom video clip.